welcome back. It's MRE Tuesday. Um, I just had a stinking cold. Uh, I caught from last week. Uh, I was in a fish and chip shop. Uh, I was watching those planes and uh, stuff. This guy came in behind me and coughed. I just thought, what the f... So I moved away from him. And of course, I'm waiting there to get served. I didn't think anything of it, so I woke up. Um, what, Friday morning or Saturday morning? And I just had a stinking freaking head cold. Can you believe that? I thought, there's no way I'm going to be able to do a review on Tuesday. Because it takes me about... Oh, about four weeks to get rid of it normally. So I have to, I have to go through the coughing phase. But luckily, it was only a 48-hour cold. So I was lucky. I'm feeling a lot, heck of a lot better now. I wasn't going to do a review on Tuesday, but today we'll do one. I haven't got anything ordered. So I haven't got that much to review. So what we'll do, we'll just do this. Uh, I've got two of these. Goulash and Parisian potatoes from the Dutch ration. And we'll have rice pudding for after from the British Army. So that's all we're doing. And we're having a coffee. And I will use a chocolate biscuit. So let's get the pan on and um, get these uh, boiling. There's our uh, Bobby. Mr. For subtle bugger, are you? There he is. Renee says hello. She says big hugs, Bobby. You know, Renee? <laughs> uh, and Apple Stump as well. Of course, he likes bunnies too. But, you know, it's a beautiful day. And why the hell he's in here, not dashing about the garden out there, I do really don't know. When we were set out there on that spot yesterday together. He was just running around me, dashing about like a freaking loony. So you've got a beautiful blue sky here, isn't it? Not one cloud in the sky. Crazy, isn't it? It's only uh, February. <laughs> it's about 20 degrees yet, so it's quite warm. It's got a warm day here in England. But, um, you know, as you can see, there's just nothing. Nothing out there. It's just dead. Just blue sky. <laughs> awesome. And, of course, he's now out, out in the garden. Right, then. Time for coffee. Excellent. So that's it for a while. Over there. Let's always have a chocolate biscuit. Digestive. Well, so that's it, really. Unfortunately, today there was only two items. Uh, because, as you know, I've got my own ration box and pack in my car. It has everything. And I mean everything. Biscuits, brown biscuits, fruit. All the spares and extras that I don't need are in that box in case I break down. In my chicken burrito bowl, number menu 16, it's in my car, in the boot. So, you know, I'll say if I have a breakdown, I can survive two days easy. <laughs> and I carry water in the car as well, so... And all the heaters as well, the French, the post, or whatever. The English ones, they're all in my car, so I can boil up water. I've got pans in there to boil water on, stuff like that, so... You know, always go prepared, I say. You just never know if you're going to break down or get stuck somewhere or whatever. So, you know, at least you can survive out there in a while. No problem, Scott. Oh, this uh, coffee is stir, I suppose. I can't find the glass one, it's just vanished. Um, I'm loving all your reviews, guys and girls. As you know, I'm taking a bit of a commenting break at the moment, so I'm focusing on my uh, O Gage layout, which I will do a video on soon. There will be a video on that coming up, and you can see what the hell I've been doing in my spare time. Because that's all I do all day, just working on my, my railroad, the Americans call it a railway, O-gauge model railway, uh, in my bedroom. I have a seven foot layout in there, by two foot wide, and it's keeping me busy, put it that way. I mean, when I was working on my railway, I had Renee's review playing. <laughs> so I'm watching her review, and I'm doing what I'm doing with my hobbies at the same time. That's, that's, that's what I do. That is what I do. But... Um, Anyway, so, uh, Joe just suddenly realised something missing. Milk. And here's something else I carry in my car. And I've got a hell of a lot of whiteness from Duncan. Uh, Duncan's 512 underscore food and drink. He very kindly sent me a pack of whiteners, which I'm still using. Uh, I've still got a lot of American ones, though. The English ones are nearly all gone. Um, I carry this in my car. Coronation Squeezy. Uh, you can put it on your biscuits and cookies and stuff like that because we all know what this is used for 
Ness is carnation baked with squeezy condensed milk. Yep, condensed milk. I've been looking for one of these for freaking ages, and of course Morrison's and Tesco sell this. So we'll give this a bit of a whiz. Oh. Bring this down here. Put a bit of condensed milk on there. Just gonna quick squeeze. And see if we get a coffee. Yeah, it does, it does. A little bit more. Wow. A little bit more. Yeah, that'll do. There you go. See? It does work. Acts like a creamer. Excellent. Of course, the Australians uh, have that in their uh, Russians and several other countries as well. Have condensed milk sachets. The squeezy tube, so I get the same one here. Just keep it in the car. We have a breakdown, boom, I've got no creamers left, you have instant freaking milk. <laughs> awesome. That was my idea. Uh, okay, so we'll come back. Um, I won't bore you to death any details. I'll just cut this. Uh, I'll get the tray out and we'll come back and uh, put the food on the tray. Alright, okay, we're back. So, let's get this uh, pretend not to drop that way. A dessert afterwards. that out. Rice pudding. Looking awesome as usual. Nothing left in there. Let's have a look. Spoon my boy. Smell coming out of this bag is just freaking awesome. Yeah, there's a lot left in there. You can of course have this rice hot or cold, depends on what you fancy of course. Oh, it's not corn. Jeez. But that'll do, sorry. That'll do. Alright, so that's a rice pudding. Turn up to that. outdoors.com here in England uh, they sell packs of these you can get them in I think ones or twos maybe um, from the Dutch rations they've got an awful lot of them and of course I keep one of these in my car too it's, a, it's like kind of like having a Dutch Sunday dinner it's that good but it never fails ever to impress me you know, it's just like a real proper filling nosh so I think we want after a lot of Wonderful smell of potatoes and stuff in there. I'll clean that off. Of course, I have um, the U.S. Army sporks and the British um, U.S. Army spoon and the British Army spork, even um, like a Canadian one as well, and this Russian one, and Polish, and so on and so on. They're all in my pack. Okay, time for dinner then. Here we go. This is going to be one heck of a filling meal. I know this, I've had it before. Beef with pot Brazilian potatoes, carrots and peas as well. Ah, oh, it smells wonderful. Yeah, absolutely spot on. Little round potatoes are freaking soft. Cooked to throat mix. Mmm. Top nosh. Top, top nosh. That's just fantastic. I'm very generous with the potatoes and the meat in these dishes, I found. I just like, be sort of really sort of kind of stringy, but it's, it just dissolves in your mouth. And uh, you probably need pep all this. Of course, I have a such like that. I'll keep sort of pepping my rations anyway, regardless. Mmm, mmm. Be really filling. My oh, God, we stuffed. I am going to be stuffed today. Oh man! It's 
that 300 grams I mean? I should know really, shouldn't I? Yeah. Yeah, fine. Yeah, I think it's about 300 grams or that. But if you go going camping or hiking, you definitely want to take one of these with you. It makes a real nice, filling meal. Very generous with potatoes and beef. Mmm, mm, yeah. The gravy as well, very nice. I think there's a herb in there, but I'm not sure what it is. Nice. Much better than that disgusting Russian meal I had. Oh, man. I just want to forget about that. Uh, that rice, I didn't get any food poisoning or anything afterwards. Um, whatever was in that just tasted like mould. It's foul. I tell you, oh, how a soldier could eat that? I wouldn't eat that if I was starving. Yuck. Or I'd eat grass or something. <laughs> Mmm. Yeah, it's a very nice filling, wholesome milk. This. I'm really glad I've got one left. Not sure what the date is and uh, what's the date on these? I've run the bit of these one out. There's a date on there somewhere. Uh, I can't quite make it out. It might be 2014, I'm not sure. I just can't quite make it out. 26, no, 2016. Yeah, 2016. That's packed over when it runs out. Don't know when it runs out. I'm not sure yet. Yeah, I think it's 2016. Yeah. So, you know, it's not bad for a 2016 meal. That would last probably another five years, maybe. But I can highly recommend getting these from Surplus and Outdoors in the UK. Got a good website. You just type rations into the search bar when you go to that page, you'll find it. You'll see all the rations. They've got American, Polish, Dutch, I think now. And, uh, yeah, all the usual stuff. I have an eBay shop as well, I believe. But this is very freaking nice, I tell you. Spoons are on that very, very nicely. The only spoon I've got left of that Russian one other than the um, knife. But yeah, it was really, really nice. It was like a little Sunday dinner. Steak and veg. But Dutch style. Uh, mm. Mm. Oh wow, that's just amazing. Uh, some of this coffee. Condensed milk. That is really good. Condensed milk for the win. That's much better than creamers. Much, 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 much better. Right, get it finished up. Well, there you go. The usual Dutch filling meal. I'll be probably pretty stuffed now. But uh, that was freaking awesome. I've not had that in a long time. Just as good as the English steak and veg, but I think the English steak and veg has the edge. You know, because they've got very generous bits of meat in there. As one of you will find out very soon when he gets a charger for his uh, camera, battery, sorry. Um, right, so, good into milk, coffee or tea goes extremely well. There's a real good smell too. Yeah, definitely for the win every time. For the win. Pretty good. If I could bag those up, and I could back up five and put them in a mylar bag, I would. So the sort of things you want to take out with it. Mmm. Oh, that's a good coffee. I like it. Right, I'm with rice pudding then. Army rice pudding. Slide this sucker over here. I've had this hot and cold, and it's good either way but you can crush the digestive biscuit you've got a biscuit you can crush it up sprinkle it into there and it's uh, pretty awesome yeah that's very soft well done for eight minutes there i think 
Mmm. With the bulk standard rice pudding. Army style. Friggin' awesome. I definitely want that. Definitely, definitely want that. It's done to perfection. What the hell. Now the strange thing is, back in the 90s, um, I was actually working at a um, an army base, or slash RAF base. If I'd have known about friggin' rations, I could have asked the soldiers for some boxes, or some rations, or something, couldn't I? Ah, oh, it just really makes me mad. You know, if I'd have just known about the friggin' rations, even though I had them back in the 80s, the 90s, I just completely forgot about them. Ah, duh. What a bummer. I sound like a Harley. Yeah, very nice. Very creamy, smooth. Oh, it's just, it's warm now. No, that was hot when it came, it's now warm because the tray's cold. It cools down very, very quickly. But either hot or cold, that's good. But I'm just mad that I didn't get some rations off those army guys when I worked there. You know, I was in a hangar full of helicopters, you know. And there's lots of army guys around. I was even friends with the staff sergeant and the um, warrant officer, Mark. Um, great bunch of guys. Sid and, um, oh, God, I can't remember the other name. Sid and... Oh, anyway, it doesn't matter. I think he moved to Canada anyway. Um, but they are they gave me a great leaving present as well. One day I'll show you what my leaving presents were. Friggin' awesome. I treasure those suckers. Um, but anyway, you know, if I'm just gutted. Seriously gutted. Back in the 90s, I didn't know about rations. <laughs> anyway, so, you know, that was awesome. Um, coffee with the condensed milk was... Just absolutely fantastic. Of course, if you're going out, always keep that tube in your car. Keep it somewhere cool, out of the way. And uh, that's good. And you've got a nice sort of creamy, you, get, you could probably put out your biscuits and, you know, just eat it straight out of the tube as well, maybe, in bits. But that main meal from the Dutch rations was awesome. That was awesome. That was awesome. And the biscuit was awesome as well, with coffee and condensed milk. But that army rice pudding, it's just smooth, it's creamy, silky, and I love it. Just what you want after a main meal like that, it's just a nice pudding to top it off. Right, that's it then. Um, hopefully I'll be back next week with a ration, hopefully. I'll, I'll try and get on eBay. Let's see what I can find. But of course, subscribe to NEM MRE, and of course, Wonder Marine Veteran, and Apple Sub Podcast of Things, um, Ray Allen. Uh, Monty Magnum City 2, Traversing Food, Steve, Nathan's MRE, everybody, you know, all the usual guys. Everybody, I mean, everybody, no matter who you are. I've actually seen about five new people doing ration reviews, but I can't subscribe to it because I can't, I can't cope, you know. I found like most of the day I just end up watching MRE reviews. I've got so much hobby work to do, you'll see. I'll do a video on it today or tomorrow, and you'll see what I'm talking about. I've got a lot of work to do, you know, and I'm also watching MREs as I'm doing work as well, so. Anyway, keep it up, up the good reviews, guys. You can get a double thumbs up from me. That is a double thumbs up from me. All that, those two together. Spare rations just had knocking about. So next week, hopefully we'll come back with an MRE. Cheers for watching. Thanks for all the likes and comments and new subscriptions. I appreciate that, guys. You're awesome. And I'll see you, hopefully, next Tuesday.